Welcome back. This is the City Sports Roundup on City TV with me, Nathan Kwao. Let's get into some more stories. Now, ENI and its partners, Vitola Upstream Ghana Limited and the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, GNPC, have handed over three completed AstroTurf pitches to three communities in the Elembele district of the Western region to aid sports development. The three pitches, which together with other educational projects, were given to Etuabu, Ekwe and Sanzule Krisan communities amidst a football match competition among school children, community members and the staff of ENI Ghana. City News' Akwesia J. Nim has more in this report. ENI and its partners, Vitol Upstream and Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, in 2015 acquired plot of land at Zanzule in the Lembla district of the Western region, where it has since 2016 been operating its onshore gas receiving plant. In fulfillment of its corporate social investment responsibilities, the OCTP partners, as part of a 3.4 million infrastructure project, which includes the construction of eight new classroom blocks and ten volleyball courts, has today also handed over three completed astroturf pitches to Atuabo, Ekwe, and Zanzule Crescent communities. Speaking at the commissioning of the astroturf pitches marked with a football match at Zanzule, the sustainability, local content, and external relations manager at ENI said the astroturf pitches were constructed with a focus on social inclusion, fostering positive self-awareness for better health and nurturing athletic growth to cultivate a fitness-focused and flourishing community. Basically, these are meant to support with uh, physical education because it's an integral part of uh, education. You cannot have a, a holistic education without uh, physical education. So you will see that uh, ENI, VITOL and GMPC our commitment to educating the people here is without doubt. Now, this is the goal. When we first came here, there was this mantra that, oh, we cannot get the human resources from here because they are not well educated. We said, okay, we'll take a long-term view. And that view is that we will start educating the people now. But in 10 years' time, nobody will say that the people from this place are not well educated enough to be able to work at the ORF and other facilities in the oil and gas industry. I can guarantee you with the investment we are doing, with your support, in a few years time, everybody in this community will be well educated to the point that any oil and gas company, including those of us who are already here, will not have a reason to say that we don't get the people coming from this community to work in these facilities. Also speaking at the commissioning of the three AstroTech pages, a former minister for energy and MP for Elemble, Emmanuel Amakufibwa commended ENA and its partners. He noted that the investment in sport and education would be beneficial to the people after the oil and gas resources are depleted. ENA had come in this area and we had insisted that after 25 30 years, the oil and the gas will be gone. The legacy we want them to leave is our human resource to educate a very vibrant community so that we can continue on from there. And I believe that this foundation in education, in school infrastructure, and today's uh, sports facility is exactly in the right direction. And I believe that ENI and I and partners deserve a lot of clap and commendation. The chief of Bakanta and a resident spoke to City News about what the Astrotech pitches mean to them. Uh, it's a new thing to all of us. Having seen some, he and I have done very well for us. Because you don't expect this carpet I found sometimes you will see it from the TV and if you don't expect you get it now. So you have you're going to use it very well. And as you know, our oh, cannot play media cannot go. The young men and women who play on this football motivate them to go into sports and any other activities. Yeah, so it's going to benefit us a lot. Just because of lack of these facilities in our area, uh, previously. We were finding it difficult to groom those players. Uh -huh. and so when we look at sports, we we're not having players who, who represent our area here. But with this at the face, it is going to help us groom or nurture them so that at the national level, we also have players who will be representing this area for us. ENI and its partners also donated some books to schools in the area.